HD Smartcast. You're listening to a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Hello. These are the top news for the day. The controversial BBC documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the 2002 Gujarat riots was screened by the SFI at Kolkata's Jadavpur University on Thursday evening. The event was held comes even as various left organizations have either planned or screened it after the center had last week directed the blocking of multiple YouTube videos and Twitter posts sharing links to the documentary. All India Students Association also decided to screen the documentary on the campus of Jadavpur University on Friday. A US military raid in Somalia ordered by President Joe Biden killed a key regional leader of the Islamic State group Bilal Lal Sudani, U.S. officials said. Sudani was killed during a gunfight after U.S. troops descended on a mountainous cave complex in northern Somalia hoping to capture him, according to U.S. officials. Around 10 of Sudani's associates at the scene were killed, but there were no American casualties. On January 25th, on orders from the president, the U.S. military conducted an assault operation in northern Somalia that resulted in the death of a number of ISIS members, including Bilal Lal Sudani, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said. Adani Group has said it is evaluating remedial and punitive action under U.S. and Indian laws against short-seller Hindenburg Research, which in a report accused the conglomerate of improper use of offshore tax havens. Shares in seven listed group companies of Adani lost $10.73 billion in market capitalization in India on Wednesday after Hindenburg released the report, which also said it held short positions in the conglomerate through its U.S. traded bonds and non-Indian traded derivative instruments. In a statement posted on its Twitter account, Hindenburg said regarding the company's threats of legal action, to be clear, we would welcome it. Star India all-rounder Ravindra Jadeja announced his comeback from injury with a bang after he scalped seven wickets in the second innings of the ongoing Ranji Trophy fixture against Tamil Nadu on Thursday. The left-arm spinner ran through the Tamil Nadu batting order in their second innings, scalping seven wickets while conceding just 53 runs in the 17.1 overs that he bowled. Jadeja only took one wicket in the first innings and was under pressure to do well to be considered for the playing 11 in the upcoming Border Gavaskar series against Australia. Patan is breaking records ever since its release on Wednesday. After becoming the highest Bollywood opener, the Hindi version of the Siddharth Anand directorial went on to collect around 70 crore on its second day, which happened to be a Republic Day holiday. Patan opened with domestic collections of 57 rupees, becoming the highest Bollywood opening film in history. The film stars Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone and John Abraham in lead roles, along with Ashutosh Ranar, Dimple Kapariya in pivotal roles. Salman Khan also has a cameo in the film. You were listening to the HD Daily News Wrap, a beta production brought to you by HD Smartcast. Please give us feedback on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at HT Smartcast or via email to podcasts at hindustantimes.com. Until next time. This was a Hindustan Times production brought to you by HT Smartcast. HT Smartcast.